Hey, what's up everybody and uh, welcome to the very first video of me reacting to AMVs. First episode is gonna be about my AMVs and I will react to my own videos basically. And uh, we will dive in with uh, the recently the most, uh, the famous one that I've done uh, on the Nanatsu no Taizai uh, movie. It's like two days ago that I posted it. Let's uh, dive into the video and uh, see uh, why it has so many views, right? Yeah, it's good. The music itself is so good. It's just perfect. And then you can see the whole world. So good. I already feel motivated watching this. <laughs> What I'm doing next one. Damn. The beat, you hear it how the beat perfectly fits to the video. Amazing. Really good. And now the fighting begins. That's how the fighting sequence in this thing. Half the video. Back up. This fast paced combat is really epic. I love it. It reminds me of Naruto vs. Sasuke. I don't know why. Maybe because it's almost the same. The epicness wise, you know? Yeah. Awakens the demon, huh? Cool. And now how comes the best moment? I think this is the best moment in the whole movie when he just goes all out, snaps his finger and is like, dude, really? Yeah. <laughs> why not why not do so from the start? Okay. So uh let's see, let's see. Uh we will dive in into Sony Vegas, okay? And uh what we see in Sony Vegas is it's it's very simple actually. This AMV was not not many effects, almost no effects at all. Just small zoom out, zoom in, just to keep the flow going. Okay, and um, in the beginning, it's just you see him running. Those are like small zoom in, zoom out effects. It's pretty simple. It's just you open up the effects. It's uh, a blue more curve. I don't know. It's like from Sapphire plugin that I installed like ages ago. And basically what it does, you can here zoom out, zoom in, right? That's that's how you do it. Okay, it's pretty simple. And you can adjust here, you can say I want it to be fast, I want it to be slow, I want to have the zoom different, different, um, um, what is it called? Acceleration. Okay, 
and that's basically most of the effect is zoom in and zoom out I think that's how the flow is um, that's how you keep the flow uh, you know it's um, it's kind of boring if you have to watch the still image uh, for like a couple of seconds it's much more interesting if it's moving and then you can you know you see much more um, okay so zoom out it's like this part is just welcome to the world. No. you know welcome to the world um, it's it's perfect I think over here I, ca I can't say much it's uh, the only part that I disliked to be honest in the beginning is because you know he's like doing this thingy with a blade and then he's basically done by here when he puts it out like this but uh, then it goes back to, to doing it again and I did not find a better scene and because I was rushing a little bit on this AMV I was not taking my time uh, I decided to just reuse this scene and that's that's basically the only thing that I actually am not content about in this AMV the rest I think is very good very good I can't even say much about this it's just it's perfect it's the song the music and the moments that are captured in this video I think they are one of the best that I've made so far so that's why um, I'm not even bother uh, what what else what I'm doing always to for example let's take this scene okay and uh, so a lot of people ask me um, my color correction thingy so what I do I color first of all I color correct like this okay so I add a lot of um, purple and uh, a little bit of green purple green contrast I, I actually like it so as you can tell uh, as you can see the purple in, in her hair for example or the, the, ve the vest it becomes more purple and uh, the green is a little bit darker as well and I think it's it's a nice mix you have to you have to uh, adjust it yourself and see what works for you okay uh, then usually I use this setting as well but it's too much this time so it's like saturation and you can adjust the hue as well so saturation and hue and there you basically change the color of it like all together but not in this case then of course the brightness of the contrast because I find the contrast is always too low in almost everything that I watch that's why I'm always putting up the contrast a little bit higher as you can tell then this color correction I did not apply this time I have like a preset okay that I load in and then each time I decide uh, what color correction or what brightness contrast whatever I need in the video okay and that's basically I did not go for it because it takes away too much color as you can see that you, you see the sky now is only one uh, color although it has two you see it has like multiple shades and I didn't like it and uh, here it just adds a little bit more saturation and uh, I think it looks great like this okay and from this point on it was pretty much was all right it was pretty good I like this moment this thing where he is like he sings rise and then you see how She starts fighting back. Let's check. Yeah. Still recording. And this part, higher and higher would take it, I think. You chase it. Yo, oh, so Yeah. And here, because beat kind of changes I decided to change the contrast and then again the zoom out the uh, zoom out effect and I think it works I uh, might have added a little bit more um, transitions or effects in the fight itself but like I said I wanted to keep it clean so for me this AMV is like an 8 of maybe a 7 not an 8 it's it's average it's it, no it's not average it's above average of what I've I've done okay and uh, I think it's it turned out great yeah this one where it's silence and you made it zoom out kind of here I think it's perfect the thing is I think I should have included this scene a little bit longer so if it would have been longer a little bit I think it would have been better 
But yeah, it's alright. It's alright the way it was. Yeah, it all works, uh, but um, I don't know. It was a little bit in a rush, so I think for that it was okay. And now him appearing behind. It's like this bleach move. I don't know why, but it always reminds me of bleach when people appear when Ichigo goes Bankai mode or something like that and he just starts being way too fast for people and that's how uh, people used to appear or fight in, in movies uh, in, in Bleach anime I mean Yeah, like I said. Yeah, and this I I really wanted this to fit because when I saw when I had this beat drop and uh, I knew exactly what scene to use it with when he just drops down. It's perfect. It's like the beat drop, and, yeah. and now he goes out loud. I wish they had a little bit more of his demon powers included in the movie but I think it was alright the way it was and now he goes all out yeah I think it all was in total it was very good so uh, yeah this is like the new format that I will be doing so um, let me know any suggestions, what you think, uh, how I can change it, improve it. Um, yeah, basically what I will be doing, I think I will take most of my AMVs for now and uh, just uh, take them apart and um, tell you what I did, how I did it. And uh, just so that you guys can learn a little bit um, as well. And I think uh, it's a good direction uh, to teach a little bit um, of what I'm doing. So, um, so, so, uh, so I don't see that many bad AMVs uh, out there. Because uh, to be honest, there are a lot of not that great AMVs. They are just put uh, music over the uh, sequence of the anime and that's it. And that's not an AMV. Of course, I do it from time to time as well. But I mean... It's alright for me if it, something just came out and you basically are seeing it and know that you have to be the first one to post it because that's the way it is as well in uh, the AMV community. The one who posts first gets most of the views or a lot of views. So remember to be always the first one to post guys. It's a very important lesson uh, to be learned. And that's why uh, even good editors sometimes do not edit that well uh, so that they can be the first ones to post. And then that's that's my principle. I, I do the first video is for me, it doesn't have to be great. Then the second one, I try to be a little bit more, uh, I try to edit a little bit better. And the third one is basically the best one. Um, and then the ones to follow are just whatever I feel like, right? And uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. I think uh, we made it. We made it pretty good. Um, any suggestions, questions uh, in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys. And uh, talk to you later. Peace.